All right, so let's get started on learning how to use Adobe Premiere Pro along with a project for creating pictures to music, essentially. What you'll need to do first to get started is have a place to store all of your work. So right-click in an empty area on the desktop with your right mouse button. Go down to New, to Folder, and then name this Picture Project 1. For me, I'm going to name it something slightly different. All right, click away. Now inside we should have some subfolders to help organize our work further. I'm going to right click, new, folder again, call this pictures. I'm going to right click, new, folder again, call this music. And finally, one more folder, why not, for any exports that I do. That is taking the edited footage and taking it out as a new file. All right, so now I have some folders ready. So now, of course, I need to get pictures and put them in the folder. And the song, which for Picture Project 1, I'll provide to you to put it in this folder. So make sure you get your pictures and music in the correct folders inside of your Picture Project 1 folder. All right, so now that we've got the folder set, we're going to go ahead and get started with opening Premiere. So from your Start button, I already have an icon here, but most of you won't. So all programs, scroll down until you find Adobe, Production Premium, and Premiere, it's alphabetical. It's right down here, the PR. Open Adobe Premiere. Now for the first time uh, opening Adobe Premiere for a project, you have to go through a few steps because there isn't a previous project to open. You're starting a new one. So we'll go New Project. Now here you want to make sure that it's still HD, high def video, not standard old school def. We also have to put it in the correct folder right now. It's sort of correct, but I'll make sure we're right. I have it on the desktop. In Picture Project, Spring Picture Project 1, here's my three folders. So I'm inside of that folder because the folder name is up here. So the file I save will go right next to these folders. So this is where I'll put my work inside of Spring Picture Project 1. I'm going to name this Picture Project 1 and then say OK. It'll save things to this folder now. I need to choose the correct video style. Many of you, when you open for the first time, are stuck here. We actually don't use most of this in class, but just so you know, different companies have different camcorders that use different file capture types, um, like Sony. You'd want to use these settings. For Canon, I use these a lot. They also have AVC HD, which is a Canon file type. And depending on the type of movie you're making or equipment, you, you can pick different types of presets for your program. I'm going to go with the standard high def program. And since we do work in a 30 frame per second video environment at high def of 1080, um, I want to make sure that I choose this one here so that I get the full 30 rates, which is what 30 frames, which is what our televisions play. I'm going to continue on down here. It says sequence one. That's fine. Hit OK. Premiere now opens <clears throat> with all of its panels and windows ready to go. Now, so that you look similar to mine, there's a few things you might want to do. Here in the project panel, your icons might be very large, uh, like this. It takes up too much space in the window. I find it easier to use the list view so that you can put different files inside of here and still be able to read them. Um, you can make your window look a lot like mine by going to the workspace, window, workspace. And I usually use one of the two editing systems. See, it's pretty much the same. And you end up with the same setup that I have. So. That essentially gets us into Premiere and ready to start work. Of course, we've got to bring our pictures in, and we have to bring in our uh, music and anything else we're going to use into our project panel. Once things are in this project panel imported, we then can add them into the timeline, video tracks and audio tracks. And when they're in the timeline, we can edit them. Whatever we do, we'll see here in the monitor window sort of your TV screen. 
Now, throughout time of editing, you might want to add effects and other things like transitions. Most of your effects are in this effects panel. And you can add them to the clips. And you can even have controls over these effects. So the windows that you've seen are the most common windows that you'll use, um, along with your toolbar. And the audio meters is nice to see the loudness of your audio. Other panels that are hidden throughout will be used at times, but not nearly as often when you're in the editing workspace. So now that we're all set and ready to go, we'll get started with creating our first picture project and learning how to use Adobe Premiere with it.